Teresa Borenpol. My name is Teresa Borenpol, <clears throat> Dr. Teresa Borenpol, and I'm here from Post Falls. And I want to thank you for Could your you remove the mask? I'm going to choose not to, but I do believe I can hear myself echoing in. And can anybody on the screen let me know that you can hear me? Great. So thank you for your service to this committee and for the countless hours that you've spent discussing the opportunities we have as a community to provide for representation, effectiveness, and accountability. Your work has not gone unnoticed as I watch these proceedings while I've been here in this room, while I've watched them online, and while I've read recounts of your work on Thursday mornings. You've done the diligent work of studying our county government, engaging stakeholders. You've done a fantastic job of that, including tonight's engagement, so thank you. And presenting opportunities for our community. It's now time for the citizens of Kootenai County to take this heavy lift onto our own shoulders. I speak to you tonight as a Kootenai County and Post Falls citizen who was in favor of placing the following on the November ballot. Number one, moving from a three commissioner board to a five member board. And number two, hiring a county commissioner or county manager, excuse me. Here's why I would like to see these on the ballot. I trust voters. Tonight you've heard and are likely to hear that people don't want to hear or don't want what you've proposed. I would like to counter that the climate in North Idaho does not allow for many of my neighbors' voices to be heard. Throughout this process, there has been volume. There's volume in crude comments. There's volumes in folks looking for their 15 minutes of YouTube fame. There's volume on Telegram with group chats of demoralized citizens. Many of my friends and neighbors, coworkers and citizens do not feel comfortable to rise to this podium, to share where they live and to share their opinions as the decibels of sneers, jeers, and cheers erupt based upon adherence to an echo chamber. Engaging in government has become a full contact exercise in which voices with a minority opinion strong arm policy in an attempt to shoot democracy center mass. Democracy allows citizens to exchange ideas, to expand upon concepts, and to enact majority rule policy. We cannot let minority voices dissuade us from giving Kootenai County residents a voice, a vote. My vote speaks at the same decibel as every individual in this room. I ask you, for my neighbors who do not feel comfortable to be here tonight, to please include them in the process and place these initiatives, the culmination of your diligent work, on the ballot. The voices of the minority cannot be allowed to disarm democracy. Thank you all so very much.